Hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to yet another video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today on this special day. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made. We shall together rejoice and be glad in it. He's an amazing God, and He is wonderful. My friend, I want to tell you something. If you haven't heard it from anybody else, I want to tell you something. God is alive and He loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love and He won't let anything come near you. He won't let any evil hurt you. He won't let your enemies overpower you and overcome you. God will deliver you. My friend, today early in the morning at about 5 o'clock, the Lord woke me up and He showed me a vision. He showed me a vision and I believe that He showed me this vision so that we could pray against such things. But the Lord showed me His children and He showed me how the enemies and evil people around them were plotting against them and trying to overcome them and overpower them and take advantage of them. And uh, if you know, the Lord also gave me a prophetic word yesterday concerning this kind of thing. So I felt that the Lord wants us to pray some more concerning this. So today we're going to pray powerful prayers against all evil people and evil doers that are trying to devour your flesh, that are trying to destroy you, that are trying to overpower you, that are trying to make you fail. And God shall intervene divinely. Remember, the Bible says vengeance belongs to the Lord. Revenge is not ours. We should just forgive and give the situation into God's hands. Whatever the situation might be, we should forgive and give it into God's hands. God is the one who repays uh, any attack that is done against his children. So don't worry, just give it into God's hands. As I was praying and meditating and preparing to go into this, this prayer session, the Lord led me to Psalm 27 verse 2. And it says, When those who practice evil, my enemies and my oppressors, come near me to devour my flesh, they stumble and fall. Verse 3, it says, If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. If war is launched against me, I will even trust in that situation. Verse 4, I have asked one thing from the Lord. It is what I really seek, that I may remain in the Lord's temple all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. My friend, as we go into a time of prayer, this is going to be the basis for our prayer. We need to have a scriptural foundation and even as we do that, we are set to go and we can receive divine results. I want to tell you something. After we pray this prayer today, Nobody will try and take advantage of you and succeed, for God shall fight for you. The Bible says in Psalm 27 verse 2, When those who practice evil, my enemies and my oppressors, come near me to devour my flesh, they stumble and fall. Anyone who practices evil, trying to come against you, to try and devour your flesh, to try and destroy what God has given you, to try and mess up what God has given you through jealousy, to try and pervert the means of justice, to try and get you in trouble for nothing even though you're innocent, God will deliver you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Let's begin to pray. I already feel the anointing of God and I trust and believe that as we pray in agreement, God will fight for you. Are you ready? Let's begin. Take your cell phone, take your device, go somewhere private where you can pray without being disturbed just for the next 10 minutes. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up the Lord in your own words. Let us begin with praise. When the praises go up, then the blessings come down. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. You are the God in whom I trust. I trust in you, my dear friend, trust in you. We trust in you. We put our hope in you. Today, on this special day when you've given us a divine warning of all the attacks that want to try and come against us, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that as we pray to you, all attacks will be averted. All attacks of the enemy will be averted. All attacks that are trying to come against us, trying to come against me, or trying to come against my dear friend, will be averted by fire and by power. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your divine mercies that are new every morning. I thank you that you're going to touch my dear friend who's watching this video. And my dear friend's life will never be the same again. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the life of my dear friend. And I thank you, Lord, that the work that you've begun in the life of my dear friend, you'll be faithful to complete it, Lord. And no enemy, no evil, nothing, no evil whatsoever will come against or come in between what you have started in the life of my dear friend. I thank you, Lord, that all the blessings and everything that you've given my dear friend are protected, even as we go into a time of prayer. 
in Jesus' name. Precious Holy Spirit, you are here and I honor you. I just welcome you. Come and take over control. Come and take over control right here in studio and take over control where my dear friend is watching. Do something mighty and something amazing in the life of my dear friend, even as we go forward and we trust you together. Lord, as my dear friend is in agreement with me, intervene divinely and answer us. Answer us with fire and with power. Scatter all our enemies, Lord. Scatter all evil that's plotting and planning against us. Scatter it, Lord. Every witch and every wizard that's planning against us, let them fail in their plans so that they can know that our God is real and He lives and they will not mess with the children of the Most High God. I pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. My friend, I want to tell you something. The Holy Spirit is the most powerful spirit in the whole universe. The Bible makes it clear that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible also says, Greater is he that is within me than he that's in the world. The Holy Spirit is greater than every spirit that's in the world. He is greater than every fallen angel. He is greater than every angel. He is the greatest spirit in the world. There is no demon that you can find that can overpower or even try to come close to the power of the Holy Spirit. And right now we've asked the Holy Spirit to intervene divinely in your situation. I want to tell you something. No enemy, no weapon, no evil, nothing fashioned against you shall prosper. The power and the glory of God has been released. The presence of God has been released even into that place where you're listening to me from right now. And right now, even as we've prayed and we've asked Him, He is going to intervene. Now the presence of God is here. Let us go into a time of prayer. I'm going to pray with you and for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And I want you to agree with me. I want you to be in divine agreement with me. There is power in agreement. Let us form a worldwide network of agreement that whatsoever enemies or whichever enemies or wherever enemies are planning or plotting or any evil weapons that are being set up against us, they will fail miserably in the name of Jesus. Because God shall intervene, He shall overpower, He shall overcome every evil force that is trying to come against us. Are you ready? Let us begin. Remember, be in agreement. And if you've got any prayer requests, go onto my website www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list and send it in over there. Okay, let us begin. My dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video right now. Lord, I pray that you will intervene divinely in my dear friend's life. In accordance with Psalm 27 verse 2, which says, When those who practice evil, my enemies and my oppressors come near me to devour my flesh, they stumble and fall. Lord, I pray that all those who are practicing evil, the enemies of my dear friend, the enemies of myself, our oppressors, when they come near us to devour our flesh, let them stumble and fall. Lord, let every enemy that is trying to come against me or trying to come against my dear friend watching this video stumble and fall. Let them stumble and fall. Every weapon that's formed against us, let it fail. I pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, for your word says, No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we shall condemn. Lord, wherever there's any enemy or any weapon or any evil device that is being planned or set up or plotted or set in place against me or against my dear friend watching this video, let that evil device fail miserably, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, wherever evil people and evil enemies have been sitting together, plotting and planning our downfall, plotting and planning the downfall of myself or my dear friend, let those evil plotting and plans and whatever it is fail miserably, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give it now into your hands. We say that we are not going to be the ones who will fight, but we give it into your hands. You are the one who fights for us. You are our God, for the Bible says the battle belongs to the Lord. We give you the battle right now. We give it into your hands. We escalate this battle into your hands. Lord, we ask you, come and take over control. Come and fight all those who are coming up against us to try and destroy us. Fight for us. Let them fail miserably, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. 
in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all armies that are encamping against us, Lord, even though they might be there, let us never fear and let them fail by fire and by power. Let all armies fail, even if it's just one person against the whole army. Let the whole army fail if they're trying to come up against us and do evil. Let them fail in their ways, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. And Lord, give us progress. Let no evil, let no evil person, no evil agent, no witch, no wizard, no Satanist, no Sangoma, no anything evil, stop us from receiving what you have for us. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it. My dear friend, I speak a blessing over you. I say you are blessed and you can never be cursed. There is no witchcraft or divination against your house. Every evil that comes up against you, it will fail in the name of Jesus because we've prayed in agreement today and God is intervening in your situation divinely. In Jesus' name, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Thank you for watching. God bless you, my friend. See you tomorrow. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.